हेलो एवरीवन आई शेफ संतोष मालकोटी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट चित्कारा स्कूल ऑफ हॉस्पिटैलिटी पंजाब कैंपस वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस सेशन इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट शाकुत्री प्रोडक्ट दैट वाज गैलेंटिन एज द प्रिपरेशन एंड प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ गैलेंटिन रिक्वायर्स द शेफ टू बी हाईली इनोवेटिव एंड क्रिएटिव एंड इन टूडे सेशन यू आर गोइंग to again learn about one of the very important shakutri product which is called as mousse and muslin it is one of the medium for a chef to showcase his or her skill artistic sense and the knowledge by the end of the session you will be able to explain the term mousse and muslin recognize the components of mousse and muslin elaborate the steps involved in the making of mousse and muslin so let's start the mousse is a delicacy that is sure to delight the eyes and please the palate as well a mousse can be defined as a mixture of cooked ingredients pureed and held together with gelatin velouté sauce mayonnaise or aspic jelly then enriched with cream and sometimes flavored with wine the mousse is always served cold very often attractively molded types of mousse mousse can be of two kinds savory as well as sweet savory mousse is served as an hors d'oeuvres or entree may be based on for example fish shellfish poultry ham or a vegetable whereas sweet mousse are usually based on fruit or a flavoring such as chocolate or coffee they are often set in a mold and usually served cold they may be stabilized by using gelatin components of mousse there are basically four components which are required to make mousse first is base then binder aerator and seasoning a base can be a mixture of cooked meat or vegetable which has been turned into a puree a binder is basically an agent which binds together the various components of a mousse a thick bechamel or velouté can be used as a binder additionally aspic or gelatin can also be used as a binder an aerator is basically a substance which provides volume and makes a mousse rich without adding much to its weight double cream can be used for this purpose a mousse must be well seasoned salt and white peppers are generally used for seasoning this slide explains the basic recipe for a mousse cooked meat 450 g reduced aspic jelly 200 ml thick bechamel or velouté 60 g double cream 150 ml salt and pepper as per taste this slide explains the steps involved in the preparation of mousse first dice the meat and process to a fine paste in a blender then add cold bechamel or cold velouté and aspic and the seasoning mix everything together then fold in the whipped cream now the mixture is ready now spoon the mixture into molds and chill once it is chilled and set now it can be served with appropriate garnishes muslin is made out of a combination of uncooked meat preferably seafood that are pureed and bound with egg whites and sometimes cream they are set by cooking components of muslin muslin can be prepared using following components like seafood eggs cream seasoning and flavoring generally variety of seafood can be mixed together or only one kind of seafood can be used for this purpose sometimes meats and poultry which are uh, which are from young animal can be used for muslin preparation also then eggs eggs act as secondary binder seafood items that create a stronger binding needs 
a less powerful secondary binder ingredient. So therefore, in uh, muslin preparation, less usage of egg is generally found. Cream acts as a fat. Heavy cream, which contains 36 or higher, is considered the best uh, cream to be used for strong emulsion. Seasoning and flavorings. Whatever seasonings and flavorings are used, they must not mar the smooth texture of the muslin. Spices and herbs should be minced extremely fine. Vegetables must be pureed and then reduced so as not to dilute the force meat. This slide explains the basic formula which can be used to make a basic muslin. For every half kg of meat, you can use 45 gram of egg whites and 360 ml of double cream. And this formula can be used for any kind of muslin preparation. This slide explains the various steps which are involved in the preparation of muslin. First one is fabricating and straining for smoothness. As smoothness is of utmost importance in a muslin. So once the meat protein is pureed with the eggs, cream and other ingredients, the resulting force meat is forced through a tamis, which is a fine mesh. It will help you to remove any trace of solid animal fat or connective tissues. Now next thing is temperature requirement. Keep all ingredients and equipments ice cold at all times. Work in small batches and proceed as quickly as possible. Now mixing procedure. The ingredients should be mixed in proper order. The meat protein, egg and flavorings are first ground together to a fine and smooth puree in a food processor. Only then the cream can be gradually added in thin stream through the feed tube while the machine is still running. If the sequence is not followed, then the emulsion may break. Now, evaluating the bind. Once the mixture is ready, before cooking the muslin, the, a sample can be posed to evaluate the seasoning and the binding of the mixture. This procedure is called as poach test. Now, once you are satisfied, you can proceed to the cooking stage that is called as cooking muslin. Muslin force meat need moist, low heat to turn out smooth and tender. They may be baked and poached. They are generally cooked to an internal temperature of 145 degree Fahrenheit or until they must. They are just set. Muslins are generally served hot or although occasionally served cold. Storing muslin. Once it has cooled to a room temperature, a muslin must be immediately refrigerated. Muslin acquire a better flavor and texture after 24 hours of mellowing. Now presenting a muslin. Muslins are generally served cold and can be sometimes reheated and served hot also. Muslin can be sliced in the same manner as pate, can be served on a platter or individual portion on a plate usually served with a sauce and one or more garnishes. This is all in this session and in the upcoming session you will learn about Pate. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.